Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Today we're going to be doing a football session. We're going to be looking at ball manipulation um, and ball control and then we're going to have some challenges uh, throughout the session. Uh, the first thing we're going to be looking at is our ball manipulation. So we're going to be um, moving the ball from uh, forwards and backwards, side to side, and we're going to be doing some small circle rotations, okay? So boys, to start off, all I want you to do is have your ball on the floor, place your football, uh, your foot on top of the ball, and I want you to move the ball forwards and backwards, okay? Start with your strong foot, okay? Let's go. And now your weak foot. Nice and easy? Good. Right, now what I want you to do, boys, is I want you to move to do your side to side, okay? So again, we need to be doing it on our strong foot, the one you're most confident with. And now your weak foot. And now, boys, can we move to doing circle rotations, okay? So we want to use, put the ball underneath our foot, just like that, using the balls of your feet. Good work, Kamari. And your other foot, weak one now, this one should be tricky. Keep going, boys. Right, boys, what we're going to move on to now, we're going to do some toe taps, okay? So can you all show me how to do a toe tap? Just a simple one to start with. So toe taps are when you change from your feet, touching the ball with your toe, left foot to right or right foot to left, okay? If you're in key stage one, so if you're in nursery, uh, reception, year one or year two, this is how I'd like you to do it. If you're in key stage two, Justice, can you show us how I want you to do it? So we can just speed it up just by having a little bit of a skip before we touch the ball, okay? So we're going to start by doing it nice and slowly. Okay, key stage one, we'll be doing it like me. Key stage two. Good, lad. Tricky. And just stop there, boys. Well done. So, we're going to set a challenge now. It's the first challenge we're going to have during this football session. And the challenge is we're going to see how many times we can touch the ball in a specific time. That specific time is going to be 30 seconds, okay? So year six, are you ready? Okay. I'm going to be counting down in my head. So once you've stopped, I will say stop. Okay. Ready? Go. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there, boys. Good work. Getting tired? Right, so we're going to move on to now trapping the football, okay? The way we trap the football is we need to hold the ball just around our tummy area. Just like this, we're going to release the ball, let the ball bounce one time, and then we're going to stop the football underneath our foot, okay? So if I ask um, Vlad, can you do a demonstration for us? Just like that, okay? We're gonna start with our strong foot first, okay? So we wanna do maybe three or four of these um, on our strong foot, and then we can move on to our weaker foot after, okay? So boys, are we ready? Let's do our strong foot first. So holding the ball out in front of your chest, dropping the ball, foot on the ball to trap it. Okay, so let's do a couple more. Good, Kamari. If you're finding it tricky, let the ball bounce twice. 
B flat. Right, you done your weak foot yet? Yep. Let's try our weak foot. So I want you to do five now on your weak foot. This one really is going to be tricky. So when you're dropping the ball, if you want to let the ball bounce three times, you can. So just like me, one, two, and on the third one, then we chuck it, okay? Don't try and chuck the ball if the ball's too high, because you can't get your foot over the ball, okay? Ready? Go! Do five of these ones. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to play a game called traffic lights, okay? I've got three different coloured cones. Green light, meaning go. Yellow or amber, meaning get ready. And red will be stop, okay? So boys, if I show you the green cone, all I want you to do is just start moving around the hall, doing your dribbling skills, lots of little touches. If I show you the red cone, what do you think you've got to do? Stop. You're going to stop, okay? How can we stop? By just placing our foot on top of the ball, okay? We've done a little bit of trapping, so we should have good control of the ball now. Um, if I show you the yellow cone, this means get ready. All you need to do is just do some toe taps on the ball until you see the next colour. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, we're going to start with our first colour, which is green. During this exercise, boys, you need to keep your head up when you're moving around because you need to see what my next colour cone is going to be, okay? So keep moving around. Speed it up, can we do it faster? How many times can you touch the ball? Good justice, well done. Good work, well done boys. So what we're going to do now, we're now going to go and do some dribbling, okay? So what I want is I want two groups. Can I have Vlad and Kamari there? And can I have Louis and Justice here? Okay, all we're going to be doing boys, is we're going to be dribbling up and around the cone that I've just placed there, okay? So if I ask um, a demonstration from Vlad, so Vlad, all you're going to do now is lots of little touches, up, around the cone, and then when we get back to our cone, uh, the next person can go. If you are doing this at home on your own, okay, you can just keep doing this, you can do it five to ten times, um, but if you're doing it with a parent, you can challenge yourself to see who does it the quickest, okay? Who's going to be the quickest one here? What group? Okay, right, ready? Go! Lots of little touches, boys. Try to stay in a straight line, lots of little touches, using the inside of your foot. Right, last couple boys. Good work, well done Louis.
and stop there. Great work. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to move on to a game called Body Parts. Okay, you can see that the, the boys are finding this a bit tricky. Okay, but good work. Go at your own pace at home. So, if, if you've found it hard, you can always scale it back. Okay, if I'm saying do it five times and you're finding it tricky, do it three times. Okay. Um, so, what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to do our game called Body Parts. In Body Parts, I'm going to ask you guys to move around. Um, and I'm going to call that a body part. So if I say elbow, you then need to put your elbow on top of the ball. If I say tummy, you're then going to place your tummy on the ball. If I say foot, you're going to place your foot on the ball. Okay? And then once I say go, you can move around again and listen for the next body part. Okay? Is that, is that clear, boys? Yeah. So try to stay in the area so that we, we can be seen on the video. Okay? Right, go. So moving around. Let's see if we can move a bit quicker, boys. Knee. Good, just one knee. And go, round with me. Elbow. Well done. Before we put our body part on the ball, that's when we can use our trapping skills. If the ball goes away from you and you're trying to put your elbow on it, make sure you've stopped the ball first, okay? Right, round we go, boys. Listen out for that next body part. Tummies. Right, last couple up we get, round we go. Bottoms. Good work. And I can see you guys are, obviously you need a little bit of a breather, so you can have a little breather while I speak to them, okay? So what's going to happen now, we're going to move on to the final part of our football session. Um, for this uh, part of the session, we need to have either some towels um, or any objects that we are able to jump over. So um, we're going to be using hockey sticks, okay, which the children here are going to be jumping over. I'm going to use four hockey sticks. Okay, so for the last part of our session now, we're going to have a challenge. Um, we're going to have two children going against each other. They have three footballs each. They have to try and jump over the hockey sticks and put their ball at the yellow spot. And then once they've got to the yellow spot, they will jump through the hockey sticks, get their next ball. And once they've done all three of the balls, the next person is going to have their turn, okay? So, the person who's not having their turn, you're going to be counting how long it takes them to get to the other side. Okay, so for the first one, Justice and Kamari, you're going to go first. That means that Vlad, you're going to count how long it takes Kamari, and Louis, you're going to take, count how long it takes Justice, okay? So just as an example, we're just going to watch Kamari and Justice just take one ball over. So let's go, boys. So football between your feet, leave the ball, we jump through, we get the next one, and we take that one through, and we must place it at the yellow spot, okay? I know you might not have yellow spots at home, you can just, once you've got over your obstacles, you just leave the ball there, okay? Right, you ready boys? Sorry, stop. Bring the water. That was just a practice. Make sure you've got your free footballs. If you are doing this at home and you have a brother or sister, you can go against them. If you are there with your parents, you can do it against your parents. Or even if you're on your own, you can just test yourself. Count in your head 
how long it took you to take the footballs to one side and then try to beat your previous score, okay? Right, are we ready? So Louis and Vlad, you're gonna be counting, so all you're gonna say is one, In two, three. And once they've got all three of their footballs over here, they must place them here. Once they've jumped back and all three of their balls in here and they've got to there, then you stop counting. All in our heads, uh, you can say it in your head, yeah. Okay. okay. Ready? Go. Oh. Make sure you stop the ball on the spot. It's all about control, this one. Good. Remember, you've only got to take three across. Good, well done, good work. How long, Louis? 34 seconds, lad. How long did you take? I got 50 seconds. 50 seconds, wow. What? How can you both have different? 60, how can you get Right, I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say, that was pretty close, okay? So I'm gonna say, Justice just uh, took that at the end, just got there before Kamari. So this time now, Louis, you and Vlad are gonna have your turn. Oh no. Okay, Justice and Kamari, you are gonna be counting. For your partners, okay? You've got to take three balls across. You ready, Louis? Yep, understand So remember, when your football's between your feet, make sure you push your feet against the ball to make sure it's nice and compact, okay? Otherwise, when you're trying to jump, the football's just gonna slip out of your feet, okay? Um, also, when you get to the other side, make sure you just place your foot on the ball so it stays nice and still, okay? You ready, boys? Wait, can I start it with you? You can start, yeah, yeah. So push the football between your feet. You ready? Well done and great work. So that was our, our PE lesson today. I hope you enjoyed that. We did a football session, ball manipulation, ball control, and our challenge at the end there. Um, as you can see, the boys have enjoyed themselves, but they're a little bit tired, okay? So we're going to have a break. Hope you guys are well, and I'll see you at the next PE lesson.